Good morning, everyone. It's Anifa Menon from HeartHealthBrainHealth.com, encouraging healthy grieving and mindful actions. Today, I would like to talk to you about the sacral chakra. And if you can tell, of course, I would wear colors that might help you think of the colors that I'd like you to focus on for the different chakras. Today's chakra is about the color orange and this orange color. Think about the setting sun. That's the color of orange that we're thinking about in the sacral chakra. Remember, we just came up from the root chakra, which is associated with red, and then we're moving into orange, which is the sacral chakra. And I thought I'd read this little description of the sacral chakra to you. It says here, the orange sacral chakra is located below the navel in the hips and is the center of your emotions, desires, and pleasure. When this chakra is activated, you feel alive, sensual, desired, and are enjoying everything. You are in touch with your emotions and are trusting towards others. So isn't that beautiful? So of course, you would know that this chakra, or maybe you will know now, is related to uh, fertility. It's related to sensuality. So again, hips are involved. So even if people have concerns with their hips, we can know that something's happening in the sacral chakra, which is again, just below the belly button, about a hand's width, just below the belly button, is the central region of the sacral chakra. I thought I would read this to you too, which says, the sacral chakra is the energy center that governs our feelings, which include both our inner emotions and our outer sensations. Our sexuality, sensuality, and pleasure are all tied to this chakra. Sexuality, sensuality, and pleasure, right? So if you were thinking about this, remember that there are so many things that are sensual pleasures, right? So some people can really enjoy the foods that they're eating, right? Really savoring those, those senses, right, of this pleasure of this food that you enjoy. It would, be, of course, be related to sexuality and sensuality in terms of physical pleasures. And physical pleasures could be all over the body, right? So all of these areas can be affected by this one sacral chakra and are. And of course, remember, our feelings are related to this area. So I thought I'd share a quotation by Eckhart Tolle because you know that I would want to throw in something from him that uh, I think is useful and meaningful. This quotation says, it takes practice to hear your true desires. Your passion will often come as a whisper or serendipitous event that reminds you of what is important and what makes you happy. Did you hear that quotation? I'll read it one more time. It takes practice to hear your true desires. Your passion will often come as a whisper or serendipitous event that reminds you of what's important and what makes you happy. Now remember, this region is about things that are related to our feelings. So what makes us happy, happiness is a feeling. What makes us not happy is also a feeling. What makes us frustrated or angry or irritable or worried or anxious are also feelings that are related to this area. But when this area is flowing freely and built up and nurtured, nurturing is also an energy that comes from this area, then we feel all of the positive pleasures, all of the positive things that help us feel happy and nurtured and creative. So creativity actually comes from this region too. So our sense of creativity often comes from something that gives us pleasure. So I know that recently I started writing a bit of poetry and it's really giving me pleasure. And I never thought that writing it would be so enjoyable for me. I can tell you that uh, I have fun in terms of writing it. It's actually, I make it a playful experience for myself because I like to write almost like a story in my poems, but I also like to rhyme in my poems. So again, this to me is just a bit of fun. And it's again, I never realized how much pleasure it would bring me, even though I've always loved reading poetry. So it was kind of a neat thing to see this creativity burst forth from me in this regard. In terms of connecting with people, I love connecting with people. So I know that that brings me a lot of pleasure. So I love helping people. It's part of the work I do, right? This is what I feel like I'm helping people get over some emotions that are often tied to this sacral chakra. And so remember that when I work with grief recovery, grief is also related here. And grief is often covering up 
some joy, some happiness, some peace, right? So all of that, many emotions, all of our emotions are related to this region. And it was interesting. I work through, of course, meditations with uh, clients. And when I work on this area, I am helping people remember that this is a space of us nurturing ourselves and then also recognizing that the universe is nurturing us too. So I do daily walks and I can tell you that my heart is filled with joys of seeing whether it's water, whether it's plants, or whether it's butterflies or birds. I am so happy to see these things. And this is nature fueling me, nurturing me, and also showing me the creativity that nature itself provides for our sensual pleasure, right? It's a beautiful sense to be able to see these things, things to smell the fresh air. I love all of those sensual pleasures, and I think most of us do. And if you take time to do that, to actually connect with that, you'll also start realizing what are the things that bring you happiness and pleasure and comfort and nurturing, whether in relationships, whether in your own thinking patterns, whether in what things you say or things that are said to you, and your actions too, right? So all of these things we can become aware of what energies are fueling this area and how we ourselves are nurturing ourselves, which then allows us to nurture the world around us. So I thought today, maybe you could sit down for five minutes and think about things that help nurture you. What things spark your own creativity? What are, let's say, three things that you can write down? So I could say easily poetry or helping others or actually feeding people actually makes me very happy. I love seeing people express themselves in their unique artistic ways. I love having an appreciation. That's a pleasure for me. A, an appreciation of the kindness of others. I love it. So sit down and write three things that you know nurture you and things that spark your own creativity. So sometimes I'll see a nice plant somewhere and I'll think, I'd like to put that into my garden. And that's my creativity, right? But again, mine coming from a higher source and it allowed me to see something that really gave me pleasure and then try to create it in my own experience, in my own environment. So see if you've got three things that you can write down and uh, find out what nurtures you. And that will definitely help bring pleasure to your own experience from the sacral chakra. So I thought I'd finish this video with um, a little bit of a description of sensuality in terms of chakras. And the description of sensuality here was the ability to love, enjoy, and celebrate my body. The ability to love, enjoy, and celebrate my body. So remember when we're thinking about senses, we've got five senses, and those are wonderful things to enjoy, right? And to love and to actually appreciate, right? So this could take a mindfulness attention to, this is what I'm smelling, this is what I'm hearing, this is what I'm tasting, this is what I'm touching. All of these things that are sensual pleasures that are fueling me in this sacral chakra. And this quotation that I loved, which was also um, about the sacral chakra, was, by uh, is by uh, an author named Nayira Wahid. And this quotation said, and I said to my body softly, I want to be your friend. It took a long breath and repri replied, I have been waiting my whole life for this. I find that very touching, right? Who's been waiting your whole life for this? It's your soul. It's your soul that is connected to you and wants to be recognized for I want to be your friend, as in your mind, wants to be friends with that deeper, higher self. And again, I'll read this quotation to you again. The quotation says, and I said to my body softly, I want to be your friend. It took a long breath and replied, I have been waiting my whole life for this. Ugh, I just find that so sweet. I just find it so touching. I hope you find it touching too, and I wish you a fabulous day ahead. Connect your mind and your body and your soul, and I wish you a fabulous day ahead, and I hope you remember, transform your mind and transform your life. Have a great day, everyone.